One of the biggest messes that we've seen on the roadways today is in central Missouri, just west of Columbia. Interstate 70 was shut down in both directions after multiple tractor trailers jackknifed across the highway. Our Missouri Chief Capital Bureau reporter, Emily Manley, is keeping an eye on that situation in the middle of the state, and she joins us now live from Jefferson City. Emily? Mandy and Vic, there's about six inches of snow on the ground here in Jefferson City. And just like the rest of the state, as you said, whether you're in Kansas City or even in St. Louis, MoDOT is working around the clock. Today I spoke with the director of the department that says besides the shortage of workers, the department is actually bouncing back from an outbreak of COVID. We've had some commercial motor vehicle incidents throughout the state uh, on the I-70 and I-44 corridor. Snow causing havoc on area roads. In Columbia, multiple semis jackknifed on I-70, left people stranded for hours. When both lanes are, are jammed with, um, with semis, the emergency services folks are stuck in the same traffic. A big snowfall means a lot of work. We have about 1,500 pieces of equipment that we utilize statewide. MoDOT Director Patrick McKenna says, unlike large snowfalls in the past, this one is tough on the department because of staffing shortages. At the present, about 400 uh, from what we would need for this type of event. And uh, in addition, a uh, couple hundred people still ill with uh, COVID. We had 700 cases in the month of January. There are seven MoDOT districts. Normally, crews cross lines to help, but not for this storm. We pre-position that when, um, when we know a particular area of the state's going to be hit. But when the entire state uh, is, is um, feeling these effects, we don't have the ability to share that as much. Meaning it's going to take longer to clear roads. Because of the cold temperatures, we expect that our crews will be on call and, and uh, moving snow and putting materials down and doing their work uh, probably right through the weekend. And with more on the way, MoDOT wants you to stay home if you can. Make the roads safe and get them clear as soon as possible. We know the economic impact and the, and the emergency impact of, of having that transportation network open. Now, Governor Mike Parson has declared a state of emergency, which activates the National Guard. McKenna told me that members of the Guard are being there to help drivers that might be stranded on the side of the road, and they're also helping clear roadways. McKenna also told me that he wants to tell drivers thank you for staying off the roadways today, making it easier for MoDOT to do their job. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.